All right, welcome back. This is part four. I've moved myself to the bottom right here. Uh, so when we left off, we had our AI paddle, as you can see right above me, actually. So it's moving relatively smoothly, and we can move our own paddle. So we can sort of play against the computer already, but there is no score. So we're going to do that in this video, as well as fix the uh, moving of the ball uh, so that when it randomly starts up, it actually picks a better set of vectors. All right, so let's get started. Shrink myself. Here I am. All right, so now we can see this console. I've moved myself to the right. So here we had this line here, which uh, randomly picks an X and Y between minus 200 and 200. But that is actually not as good as it can be. We're going to try this instead. What we're going to do is pick an angle from 0 to basically 360. So we're going to call this angle and we're going to go uh, phaser.math.between 0 and 360. So we're going to randomly pick an angle you know, that is around. Now, if we have an angle, we need to convert it to a vector to give it to the velocity because we need an x and y number. So in order to do that, we need to use a conversion method from angle to vector, which we actually have here in the arcade blog. So let's just go to the blog, how to fire balls from facing direction. So what we do is given an angle we can do velocity from angle, and that will give us a vector. So now velocity from angle, let's see, this dot physics dot velocity from angle, given angle in degrees, which is what we have. Great, so let's just call this vec. So now, so there's that. So now what we want to do is, of course, yeah, so this is going to be a normalized vector, I'm pretty sure at least. So let's give it a try, vec.x, vec.y. Well, I'll link to this article in the notes. All right, so that's probably started. Now the ball is moving very slow in various directions. What we can do, because we have this direction vector effectively, we can go times 200 and times 200. That means it should now move, well, it's way too fast. 100, 100. It's still too fast. 10, 10. Okay. This may not be a directional vector. Let's just see. Console. So you can do console.log. Console.dir is just another way to log things out. This is not a directional vector. Oh, right, right, right. Right, if you do not pass in a speed, it is uh, apparently suggested speed of 50, or roughly like that. So instead, we're gonna actually say we want a speed of, I think 200 was pretty good. So we don't need to do this. We don't have to manually change the magnitude of our vector. So there we go, 200. So those are now, it's better. It's going to pick any angle from 0 through 60 and then move it in that way. So now we have that. Now we want the ball to be able to actually fly off screen. As you can see, it hits the edge of the screen and then comes back. That is not how Pong works. So let's see, we had set collide world bounds. So let's see, what do we got here? That isn't any. Yes. Well, let's just look at the dock. This is a great time to see the docks. Mm -hmm. so collide to world bound. That was how we already know that from previously. It's in physics world. No. It's not. Oh, right, right, right. It's in physics body. Which, all right. So we want the physics body. Okay, value bounce x bounce y. Right, it's not this method. There is another one for setting collision bounds, which I'm pretty sure is on the world. 
let's see, bounds, bounds, set bounds. Set the position, size, and properties to the world boundary. Yep, that's what we want. I do this at the top, dis.physics dot set physic dot world dot set bounds bounds all right so of course zero zero is the top left and we want it to be less than that so let's just say minus 100 y can still be zero that's fine now our width was 800 we're going to actually want it now to be 800 mm. 1000 since we have minus 100 on the left and then we'll have positive 100 on the right so with this a thousand height will stay the same 500 and then what does check left do check on the left edge of the boundary we can leave that alone there would be another way to, to do this okay so now let's see what does our ball do our AI is going to think it's so clever to block the ball. We don't want it to. Let's try not to block it ourselves. It should fly past. Great. And then hit minus 100 and then come back. Okay. Beautiful. So, of course, we want it to reset itself when the ball flies out of the bounds. Now, bounds is still going to be basically 0 and 800. So now if this dot ball dot x, let's just say minus, give it some leeway here. We know the ball is 10 radius, so it is 20 diameter. So at least 20, let's just say 20, let's just say 30. So once it flies past 30, it has now uh, scored on the left side. The left side, left, left. Now else if this dot this dot ball dot x is greater than 830, then we've scored on the right side. So if we score on the left, I want to reset the ball. So which is basically going to be this code right here. Now there's no reason to copy and paste stuff constantly, so we're going to make a method here that is going to set up the ball. Let's just call it reset ball. So reset ball. That'll do that. Now we can call reset ball up here. This dot reset ball. And then we will do the same thing here and here. Let's give this a go. No, I did not click in time. We could turn off the AI or make the AI much stupider. So it did not work as I would have liked. Let's think. Why did that? Let's, let's make this AI much, much stupider. And by stupider, it really just means slower. So it goes, it hits. And then it tries to reset. We are in update. That is, of course, always could be problematic. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, this, the reset only, currently as we, as we have it, only changes the velocity, does not change the position of the ball. So where do we set position? Which is here. Okay, so that's fine. We're going to first this dot ball dot I think there is a set position. Yes. Set position 400 to 50. All right. Let's try this again. No. There. There we go. So it resets and it should pick a different one. Yes. There we go. We got our dumb AI. Boop. All right. So now we have the ball resetting when it uh, crosses into a score point. So now we want to do scores. So now for now, we're going to keep everything in one scene. We will break these up into the multiple scenes in a uh, future part. So let's do some scores. Let's see. We do 
that, do that. So let's go this dot add dot text. Um, let's call this. This will be the left score. So the score for the left the, for for the player. And let's just say the middle is 400. We're gonna put this right off of that. So 300. 300. Uh, so if 250 is the middle, then obviously 125 would be the quarter or the middle of the middle. Text is going to be, I just say zero, no style. So this is going to be this dot left score. Okay, let's see what shows up. Zero. Yes, so we also want origin, like we did in part one, to be in the middle. Great. So now this is the style. This is the style of the text that we're, that we're giving here. And we are going to make that, this is font size, let's see, uh, 32. There we go, it's bigger, 48. Yeah, I'd say that's okay for now. All right, so. Well, it depends on your style. Maybe you prefer this. Well, we'll just do this. This dot right score is going to be now for the right side dot add dot text. So 300 was 100 off of the middle. 500 is also 100 off the middle on the other side. This will make it one. No, we're going to wind up below there. This is going to be 250 plus 125, 375. On the Y, text will be zero. We are probably going to share the same style. So, uh, score style, let's call it. Score style, all right. So score style, we're gonna also set this to origin half half, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. There we go, so that's the right side score, that is the left side score. So now this is, of course, text. So what we're really gonna want is a way to change this. So now it did say class property is not available in the previous part. So instead we're just gonna go, what are we gonna do? For clarity, left score label, right score label, right? So because it is a text. And then this will be left score. We're gonna start at zero. This will be right score. You also start at zero. Now, so we want to, let's make some functions here. So that's the reset. So we want to increment left score, right? Let's say, so that means this, dot left score plus plus, right? Or plus equals one. And then this dot left square label dot text will be this dot left score. So I want to give it a string. It may complain. Let's see. It will not automatically two string it, but let's see, we should get an error. We do not. Well, we didn't actually use it. So let's see. This dot increment left score. Uh, well, just we'll just write the. Well, I'll just test it. We'll come this way. Let's see. It should error, but it might not. It's JavaScript. It did not error. It just worked. It will error. It would have errored in TypeScript. So this is okay, we'll just leave this. Um, increment right score. So TypeScript would have caught it at uh, like now, static, at, at static analysis time, not at runtime, um, because this is a string, and of course this is a number. But JavaScript is very lenient. So right score, same thing, plus equals one. This dot right square label dot text 
We will just do this. So uh, this should work in, in other games. It does not work. Oh, because we didn't do this here. In other games, you may want to add more uh, text to your score. Like, you know, something like, like score zero, right? So of course, if you did want to do that, you would have to turn this into a string, but you would do something like, well, let's just, let's just see. So when we get scored on, it should, change the text to that, right? I don't actually want this in this case, so we just leave it like this. If you if you are using TypeScript, just for the record, you can uh, get two string. That would be fine. Uh, but we don't really need to do this right now because that is done for us. Okay, so the scoring is working. The score text is not great, but we can basically play a game. Oh, so let's actually make our AI a little bit smarter. We can actually play a game here. AI speed three. So here we go. Let's just play a little bit. Let's do a bit. There we go. So there we go. You can actually play this game with the AI right now. It's not a whole lot of fun. There are some things we can still do. The fonts are not fantastic. So we're going to do some of that in the next part.